During World War II, German U-boats caused tremendous damage to the Allied forces, especially making the sea routes vital to the operation of the United Kingdom extremely dangerous. This primarily maritime combat strategy of targeting merchant ships almost starved the United Kingdom, but the origin of this tactic may not necessarily be German. During World War I, the United Kingdom proposed a similar concept and began to design and build specialized submarines, with the result being the HMS X-1. In 1915, the United Kingdom proposed the concept of a cruiser submarine, which was essentially a cruiser from the age of sailing warships, used for plundering merchant ships. It had basic armament to deal with standard escort weapons, and could rely on its speed advantage to escape if encountering enemy main warships. However, the design and construction of the cruiser submarine progressed slowly and did not participate in World War I. The only X-1 submarine was completed and commissioned in 1925, which may have been related to the situation at the time. During World War I, the Royal Navy of the United Kingdom held a strategic advantage, and the demand for such specialized submarines was not high. After World War I, the focus was on recuperation, so the slowdown in related work was also normal. The X-1 submarine was a large conventional-powered submarine, with a surface displacement of 2,820 tons, a submerged displacement of 3,700 tons, a length of 110.8 meters, a maximum diameter of 6 meters, and its interior was divided into 10 watertight compartments. It required a crew of 111, including 11 officers. The surface power of the submarine consisted of two eight-cylinder diesel engines with a total output of 3,000 horsepower. They did not drive generators and other equipment, so the power output to the propeller was strong enough to allow the submarine to reach a theoretical maximum surface speed of 19.5 knots, which was sufficient for pursuing merchant ships. Underwater travel was powered by two 1,000 horsepower electric motors, with a maximum submerged speed of 9 knots. Power was supplied by three groups of batteries weighing a total of 71 tons, allowing the submarine to travel 50 nautical miles when moving at an economical speed of 4 knots. Additionally, there was a 1,200 horsepower auxiliary diesel engine on board for power generation, which was actually salvaged from the German U-126 submarine. The armament configuration of the X-1 was designed to engage merchant ships. The submarine was equipped with six torpedo tubes, removed from the L-class submarine, and carried 12 torpedoes. The reloading time for each torpedo was approximately 24 minutes. Torpedoes were only used in special circumstances. The X-1 also had a combat turret at the bow and stern, each with two QF 5.2-inch MKI guns with a maximum range of about 15,000 meters. Each gun had a magazine with 100 rounds, and the ammunition store extended into pressure-resistant casings. The ammunition was transferred by a dedicated lift, theoretically allowing each gun to fire six rounds per minute. The submarine also had a separate ballast compartment that could fill with seawater to replenish the weight lost after ammunition consumption. On the conning tower, there was a 2.7-meter rangefinder that could be raised 2.4 meters. The X-1 surface combat capabilities were relatively strong for a submarine, more than sufficient for engaging merchant ships, and could also engage in artillery battles with small escort vessels and destroyers. It was a capable attacker of sea routes, and with ample fuel, it could travel up to 12,400 nautical miles at an economical speed of 12 knots. At the time, the Washington Naval Treaty imposed restrictions on submarines, prohibiting them from attacking merchant ships. The specialized merchant ship attacker X-1 submarine from the United Kingdom clearly did not comply with the rules. The United Kingdom also did not want to let the outside world know about its submarine warfare ideas, so it actively suppressed the news. A newspaper that published a photo of the X-1 submarine was even targeted by the military, and all related materials were eventually confiscated. Looking back at World War II, the development concept of the X-1 was correct, but its reliability was poor. Its main diesel engine often failed, 
preventing it from reaching the expected cruising speed, and the interior of the submarine was damp. Mechanical malfunctions in the air compressor and the ammunition lift reduced the rate of fire of the guns. Ventilation conditions for the battery pack were very poor, and the originally anticipated maximum diving depth of 150 meters was later reduced to 110 meters. After being commissioned, the X-1 submarine was sent to the Mediterranean, where it spent most of its time in repair due to various malfunctions. The crew must have been relieved. The submarine was decommissioned in 1930, and in 1933, the Navy considered the submarine to have little remaining value, leading to its official decommissioning at the end of 1936 and scrapping the following year.